In today's video, I'll be showing you how to ethically steal your competitor's blog post traffic and find easy to rank for keywords when doing competitive research. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be going over both free and paid methods. So let's first start with the free method, which is using ChatGPT. So I simply told ChatGPT that I want you to do a competitor analysis of my competitor's blog post, and I want you to extract the main keywords main topics from this competitor and I went ahead and pasted in the blog post section of my competitor in this example it's my own blog post but that's fine you can just paste in the keyword or sorry the URL for your competitor within this section next ChatGPT was able to read that blog post and it told me what type of content that um, blog post creates so it creates content around SEO around AI tools and ChatGPT around content creation and blogging, the use of AI in writing and in content marketing, Google's ranking and EEAT, monetizing content, and so on. So essentially, it's just giving me topics that my competitor writes on. Next, what I did was I told the AI that I want you to create 10 possible blog post topics based on this information. I want you to create a table with the topics, competitiveness of that keyword, the target keyword, and if it will be easy or difficult to rank for this specific keyword in which you'll be creating. So we're kind of just formatting our own keyword research here using ChatGPT. So now ChatGPT was able to go ahead and create that table for me. So we have about 10 blog post topics here, how AI is revolutionizing SEO in 2024, which is a pretty decent blog post topic. In terms of competitiveness, it is high, but I don't really know how it's coming up with that metric. So I would take these metrics with a grain of salt. Our target keyword is AI and SEO ranking difficulty. They say it's very difficult. And as we can see here, we get this information for a couple other keywords. The ultimate guide to using ChatGPT for content creation. Again, the competitive competitiveness is medium and the target keyword is ChatGPT content creation. And they say that it's moderate. So this gives us a nice little overview. Of course, it's more difficult for us to actually validate these um, metrics because we're not sure exactly where ChatGPT is getting these metrics from. But when you're using a free tool, you know, you're not, you're not going to get the most accurate data. So again, if we see here, we have some keywords that are low and easy to rank for. So crafting content with AI detection techniques and tools, this is low. And then this is easy to rank for according to chat GPT. So that's an easy way in which you can do competitor research where you can get topics from your competitors. And then you can go ahead and use that to formulate your own blog posts, um, ideas and create content. So once you have information from one website, you can repeat this for as many competitors as you like. So for example, I can copy over another competitor. I'm just using SEO land.com and I'm using their specific SEO page. Oh, sorry, search engine land.com. And it's going to do the same thing. Um, it's going to visit that website and now it's going to go ahead and do the same thing. You'd probably want to prompt the AI to tell us to do the same thing. But as you can see, it is pretty smart, so it knows exactly what it needs to do. So next, I run the same prompt to get a chart for keywords. So again, we can see here we get some topics, ultimate guide to e-commerce for SEO success. We get some competitiveness of that keyword, the target keyword and the ranking difficulty. So this is the first and free method in which you can use to steal your competitor's traffic by doing competitor research, finding what they write about, creating topics based upon that, and then getting some metrics from chat GPT. Now, the second paid method that you can use is using Ahrefs. I know that not many of you have access to Ahrefs, but if you are um, trying to grow a website, I think it's a very, very important tool to have because it makes doing our research for your competitors much, much easier. So for example, let's say I wanted to find more information about my competitor, which is wordrocket.ai. So what I can do is I can copy over that keyword and then I can head over to Ahrefs. I can paste that into the domain section here. And as you can see, we'll be able to see an overview of this website. But what's really cool with um, Ahrefs is that we're able to also check our organic competitors. So these are going to be the competitors that are most closely related to this website based upon their keywords. So even if you don't actually have an idea for who your competitors are, you can pop your URL into Ahrefs and you'll actually be able to get a list of competitors in which you can then go ahead and do some research on. So for example, I see my competitors are these specific websites here. So what I can do is let's say I wanted to do some more research and I see that this website is a very high value website and they have a lot of different keywords that are similar to my um, site. So I can copy over that link address and now we're going to do competitive research on that competitor. So let's go ahead and search that up and we can see that they have over 50,000 keywords that they're ranking for. 
and it's a lot of different keywords on AI, on softwares and so on. So what I can do now is I can then start doing my keyword research. We can reduce the keyword difficulty. And as you can see, there's still a lot of keywords in which you can go after. But if you want to find keywords that are more catered for informational blog posts, then we can increase the word count. Let's say three. So we want keywords that have three or more words. And again, these are going to be easier keywords in which you can rank for. But that's how you can access thousands of keywords in a matter of seconds using Ahrefs. And that's how you can steal your competitor's traffic because we know that this competitor is getting a lot of traffic each month. And by doing some quick research, we can find some easy wins here because we can see a lot of these keywords are very low in um very low in keyword difficulty. So if we have a website within this niche, a keyword like Dream Studio AI has 2.1k um volume each month but it has a difficulty of four so it's easy for you to then do a review or create a blog post and to be able to um, rank for these specific keywords and then you can just go ahead and repeat this process because now what i can do is i can head over to organic competitors for this specific competitor and i'll also find another list of organic competitors in which i can then do competitive research on so again you can just go ahead and copy over one of your other competitors click search head over to overview and again, now we have 84,000 keywords in which we can go through. We can start filtering down by keyword difficulty. So we want a keyword difficulty of seven. And then we want to have a word count of three and above. Now let's go ahead and click apply. And we have a lot of different um, keywords in which we can go after. So that's the second way in which you can do keyword research. You could search up your own website or a competitor website, head over to organic competitors, find other competitors. And once you find a suitable competitor, then do your competitive analysis for that specific competitor. You can also head over to top pages and this will show you the top pages for that specific website. So for example, this website, we see that some of their top pages are Quillbot, Paraphraser, Home, Workify, Chat, GOT, and so on. So when you're going through the top pages, you may be able to find a keyword that is not too difficult that you can actually go ahead and create content around, create better content than your competitor and steal some of their traffic. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's quick video. I wanted to give you some actionable steps that you can take to do competitor research and steal your competitor's traffic. If you did enjoy today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also just to let you know, my AI Writing Mastery course is still available. If you'd like to join that course, I'll leave a link in the description below today's video. Take care.